All right, thanks, Ron. Well, somebody has broken into your car and taken all your stuff. Mm. It's a crime that may leave you feeling violated, frustrated, possibly even foolish. Yeah, but it turns out you can outsmart the bad guys. Natalie Hurst tells us if you take away the opportunity, you can take away the chance for a crime. She is watching out for you. Boise and Sean Beer loves his wife's new truck, so he makes sure everything's buttoned up tight when he's not in it. Um, try to keep things either on the floorboard or covered up so that they can't tell what's there. I think that helps some. He has reason to be careful. It wasn't too long ago he left a laptop, cash, and other items in another vehicle in a business parking lot. Overnight, $2,300 worth of stuff was stolen through a smashed window. You know, there's a lot of frustration that comes with it. First is a sense of violated. You know, you've been violated, your personal space, your personal stuff. Across town, Meridian resident Alan McCurdy's Honda Prelude's been broken into not once, but twice. It's the first time that it happened, it was kind of like a shock. Like, I just felt like something was missing, and then once I realized that it was gone, it was like, oh, uh, when did that happen? Both times, the bad guys went after his car stereo. Total value, 500 bucks. I left my door unlocked, and they must have gotten in and taken it. But um, then they took the uh, subwoofer out of the back as well. They just popped the trunk. You might think that Idaho is a pretty safe place to live, but that doesn't mean that car burglary doesn't take place. In fact, Boise police tell me it can happen in just a matter of seconds. In fact, in less than five seconds, police tell me that a car burglar can break your window, reach in, take your stuff, and be gone. Cool. Detective Jeff Dustin with Boise Police has worked thousands of Treasure Valley cases. He showed KBOI TV how easy it is for thieves to scope out a car, even with these tinted windows. There's a bag on the on the passenger side, sunglasses there. The appeal, the quick grab for valuables. We found shopping bags full of new gifts in this car and this expensive walker in another back seat. Well, you know, right there, that's a two, three hundred dollar piece of medical equipment. You could sell that uh, anywhere. You'd be surprised how fast the stolen goods move through pawn shops or the internet and where they end up, especially guns. Um, a lot of the guns are funneled out of the state very quickly. Um, we have recovered guns is down into Mexico. So Detective Dustin says take the opportunity away from thieves. Lock your doors. Keep valuables out of the car. And don't just like wait to get to your destination and then get out and take your purse, put it in the trunk. Put it in the trunk before you get there. Alan McCurdy didn't make an insurance claim on the first stereo burglary, but he did on the second. His toughest lesson, having to prove to his insurer his speaker was bolted to the car to claim the property. Sean Beer's insurance claim took just over a month to process. He has one piece of advice with carriers. Um, one of the things I look for is they will give you replacement value of whatever you had. So they're not going to give you the depreciated value, they're going to buy you a new one. And he says, with a little bit of common sense, you too can drive away any chance of burglary by the bad guys. Natalie Hurst, KBOI News, Boise. Well, Boise police say car burglaries are down, if only a little. The department recorded 912 car burglaries in 2014. That compares to just over 1,000 in 2013. And in addition to locking doors, keeping stuff in trunks, Boise police say there's another way to help protect yourself. It's called Track Mole. It's a website that lets you record serial numbers for items of value so police can cross-reference it with recovered items. It's private and secure. Boise detective Dustin uses Track Mole to cross-reference all burglary reports. He says it's the fastest way he can find your stuff. Now, for a link to that site, log on to KBOI2.com and click on Natalie's story.